now we are going to take an example in which the first elements are neither all positive nor any of them is negative think of what am i saying it means one of the element is zero but the entire row is not zero in that case when you divide it by that value it will become infinity so the normal process of proceeding further is abrupted suddenly what to do then let's see in this example we have to test the hervets of this polynomial s4 plus 2s cube plus s square plus 2s plus 2 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, and 2, 2, and 2, s square, 2 into 1, minus 1 into 2, divided by 2, 0, 2 into 2, 4, minus 1 into 0, divided by 2, that is 2. In this particular row, there is a zero, but not all elements are zero. Means for the row, if all the elements are not zero, then replace it by epsilon. So this is rewritten with epsilon and 2 is brought as it is. Next one, 2 into epsilon minus 2 into 2, that is 4, divided by epsilon. And the last one will be present to this minus this over this that gives you 2. Now just find out the sign of this term as epsilon tends to 0 is positive. What about limit epsilon tending to 0 of 2 epsilon minus 4 over epsilon? This can be written as limit epsilon tending to 0. 2 minus 4 over epsilon. As epsilon tends to 0, this is going to give you minus infinity, so the sign is negative. The moment you have a negative sign, it means that the polynomial PS is a non hervitz Have you understood this question? Now let's move on to one more difficulty that if the entire row is 0, then what is to be done? Check for Hurwitz polynomial in which there are all odd coefficients absent. So 1, 6, 11 and 6 we have written thereafter 0, 0 and 0. All such cases where the elements of a particular row are 0, we differentiate the row prior to it and we call it as an auxiliary polynomial AS. So this becomes AS. We differentiate AS with respect to S and that gives you 6S5 plus 24S cube plus 22S. The coefficients 6, 24 and 22 are written now. 6, 24 and 22. 6 into 11, 66, sorry, 6 into 6, 36 minus 24 that is 12 divided by 6 that gives you 2 6 into 11 66 minus 1 into 22 that is 44 44 divided by 6 gives you 22 by 3 and the last one 6 into 6 minus 0 over 6 is, gives you 6 similarly we multiply these two subtract this divide by 2 you get 2 44 minus 36 that is 8 divided by 2 that gives you 4 similarly 10 by 3 into 4 and 10 by 3 and 6 have been obtained by this process and then 10 by 3 into 4 minus 2 into 6 divided by 10 by 3 gives you 2 by 5 and here 6. 
This is a Hurwitz. All the elements are positive. If you have time, if you want to factorize it, you'll get the result. S square plus 1, S square plus 2, S square plus 3. That is equal to 0. So all the roots are lying on the g omega axis. So even if there are, there are simple roots, simple poles, what are simple poles? With multiplicity 1. It is not being repeated. Then in that case, the polynomial is a Hurwitz one. So what inference have you drawn till now? A Hurwitz polynomial is one for which all the roots are either lying on the left hand side of the S plane or even at origin or even at J omega axis. But it should not be a repeated pole. Now the last example of this we'll see where there are repeated poles on the j omega axis and verify how it is non hurwitz take for hurwitz polynomial s6 plus 4s4 plus 5s square plus 2 so the coefficient 1 4 5 and 2 have been written here and after differentiation of ps that is dps over ds when we found it came out to be 6s5 plus 16s cube plus 10s. So the coefficients 6, 16 and 10 have been used here. 6, 16 and 10. 6 into 4, 24 minus 16, that is 8 divided by 6 gives you 4 by 3. 30 minus 10, 20 divided by 6 gives you 10 by 3. And the 6 into 2 minus 1 into 0 divided by 6 gives you 2. Similarly, 4 by 3 into 16 minus 6 into 10 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 gives you 1. 4 by 3 into 10 minus 6 into 2 divided by 4 by 3 gives you 1. Now, 10 by 3 minus 4 by 3, that is 6 by 3, that is 2. 2 minus 0 divided by 1, that is 2. Now, once we have already used auxiliary polynomial, differentiated it and use those terms. It means on the g omega axis, when there were simple poles that has been removed by taking the differentiation and then replacing it by the coefficients of the differentiated term. Now, if again for the next row, you get a 0. 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1 into 2 is 2. That divided by 2, that is 0. And all the elements of a row are 0. So, if there would not have been this exercise earlier, we would have done it here. But you can do it only once. That's why this becomes a non Hurwitz polynomial. Why it's a non Hurwitz polynomial? Because it has multiple poles on the j omega axis you can factorize it and find out that ps is basically equal to s square plus one whole square multiplied by s square plus two so at j1 and minus j1 there are two poles existing multiple poles existing and at j root two minus j root 2 there are simple poles so these are the locations of the poles and here we find that there are multiple poles at this location therefore it's a non hurwitz polynomial there are other methods of doing the same question but this is the best approach by using the routh hurwitz criteria and this is how we complete the topic of Hurwitz polynomial. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum.